Well, what's going on, people? Scuba Hood UK here, bringing you um, quick demo impressions of uh, the Xbox Live Arcade title Warp. So uh, yeah, this is like a uh, a, a stealth puzzler type game. It could be uh, best described as. I had a little play through it a second ago. So I think you're this little thing. I don't know what they call it, but um, it's been captured by these people anyway. And so uh, yeah, obviously. At the moment, they're just trying to work. They're trying to do some tests to work out what you can do. I'm trying to get this ball onto the button. There we go. This is pretty neat, though. There's some pretty uh, cool features in the game. It's uh, 800 Microsoft points. I won't show you the whole demo because I don't want to ruin it all for you. But um, I will just show you the general gist of the game and the mechanics and how it works. So those those things they call them grubs, they're uh, they're located throughout the uh, throughout the world, and each level's got a fair few, and those are used to uh, upgrade your character with like new abilities. So I'm doing well here, just testing my memory. That's us into the next area, grab another grub. So in a moment we're gonna gain the ability which the uh the name of the game suggests, basically. So uh That is our fastest result yet. Try and remember my way around. Here we go. Well, well, well. So this is where the uh, the game begins. Now we've got our warping ability, so you can just warp through walls. So you've got a little pointer there, and that's basically where you're going to warp to. So you can walk diagonally. I'm going to warp to the grub, and so I can get the uh, points for the upgrade. So now the objective has changed to uh, yeah, evade capture. Basically, you've got to avoid soldiers. Uh, guns. Like I said, this is a stealth game. And you can have, you can warp into sort of like all sorts of things, like through pipes, and you can warp across things and into inside these barrel objects. So we're going to warp out. So right now, I've got to avoid the cannon. Gotta let the laser go past. Warp out now. Pass those lasers. There is another cool ability you can do, which uh, will be coming up soon. Right now I'm concealed inside this barrel. So these things down here are challenges. I'm not going to show you that at the moment. That one's a warping challenge. And then these are scattered throughout the games. This is like a little tunnel, so it's gonna transport me to the next area. So at this point, we're gonna learn a new ability, which is you can get inside something, spin your left stick, and you can blow shit up. So that's just taking the power away from the door. Which then allows me to uh, basically warp over into this middle barrel. 
just destroy that and get the grab. So, so right now we're just trying to avoid these guns and let that pass. Bash. This is going to be the wheel. This is my favourite ability. You warp into humans, serve with your stick. So now we've got the uh, the soldiers after us. Oh, and I got shot there. Yeah, if they see you on sight, they're going to uh, shoot you pretty goddamn quick. Take us all the way back here. Well, I made the same mistake. Find my spot. Oh. So you can cut, you can skip cutscenes by uh, holding B. But actually, I quite like that little animation. There we go. Hold B to skip. So this time I'm going to be a bit more stealthy and uh, so you can use the right stick also to move the camera. So this gunman's coming out. Jump inside. Bosh. Another tube to transport us about him. The doctors are harmless, but I like killing them anyway. It's another challenge right there. Oh no, sorry, this is an upgrade station here. But I'm going to ignore that. So you can walk through walls into our guards. We can use this tunnel here to flank this guy. So you can go from barrel to barrel at this point, you've got to be quick here. Huh? Through the door. It's what I just made. Another challenge level, but I'll avoid that. So we're coming to near the demo. I don't want to ruin it all for you. So, but the last skill you can do is go for barrels quickly. But uh, yeah, all in all, I'd give this game a good eight out of ten. It's fun. Eight hundred points, not a bad price. Looks like it's going to be a fairly big game. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed it, comment, rate, and subscribe.